The youngsters can do this. They can try this. Breathe in and resting your forehead and pushing your chest out and holding your knees. So these are the variations of uh, then see immediately I bend forward so that I don't get injured or I don't get too tightness in my spine. So how do you prepare? So let's start. Namaskar. Welcome to Yoga Fitness with Priyanka Sharma. Friends, today's video is on how to increase the flexibility of the spine. Many of them have back pain or those who want to increase the advanced posture. Like those who want to attain this pose, like those who want to do this. Or those who are looking for how to increase this flexibility of the spine. Then my dear friends, you need to brush up your foundation. So today's postures will be on how to increase the strength and mobility and the flexibility of the spine. So I have made like some routine of the spine where you can do it in the daily basis. Within a month, you will start seeing that yes, uh, from zero, your level will start increasing. Yes, yeah, so you need to keep practicing. So let's get started. I hope you are on your mat and you're practicing with me. So the first exercise of a spine, the routine I have set up is cat and cow. So cat and cow is also known as Marjorie Asin. So how do we do that? Come on your knees, keep slight distance between your knees and your feet equally apart. Your feet will be flat. So you are flipping your toes behind. Your palms should be right underneath your shoulders and your spine neutral. Take a deep breath in and arch your back. Look up. Breathe out. Exhale. You contract, hunching your back, chin to collarbone. Again, inhale. You expand and feel the stretch in your spine. Breathe out. You can do as many rounds as you can, five to ten times daily to give a good energy and to increase the mobility of your spine. It gives a good massage to each and every vertebrae of the spine. It increases your posture. It corrects your uh, posture of the spine. And one more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Contract. Now I'll be showing you little advance or you can say with the support of the wall you can use to open up your thigh or hamstring. So I'll be using the wall right behind me. Coming in again cat and cow position. Same position and I'll be holding my left leg on the top. So I'll be placing my left leg as you can see how is my right toe pointing, my right knee, my palms are right underneath my shoulder and I try to push, push my thigh towards the wall. So this will have a good stretch in your pelvic area, in your thighs, also it improves your lower back. Now those who are still the beginner, they can do as much you can, you can keep more distance and as you uh, increase or increase the flexibility, you will lessen the distance. And then after this, we will walk a little ahead, relax your left foot. Now we will move our right leg on the top, on the wall, trying to keep your upper knee straight. Do not fold your knee, otherwise you will not feel any stretch. In, in, uh, instead of that, you can keep a more distance if you find it difficult initially. And as you grow, as you move week after week, you just have to keep a check on you that how much distance I have covered up and keep pulsing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and relax. Breathe out. Rest in child's pose. Then you can just flip your palms and release the tension. You can move your fingers and take a break in Balasana. 
So after we rest in Balasan for like 5 to 10 breaths, we move to the second stretch which is extended puppy pose which is again very good for opening up your shoulders and your heart region. Uh, so it is very good for the round spine. Those who have this curved back or those who have scoliosis or kyphosis, for those uh, they have this kind of or those who are doing sedentary work, so for them, this will work a lot and it will increase the strength and opening up of your lungs. So let's do it. You will again come on your knees equally apart, chest check your hip width apart. Both the palms you will place on the edge of the mat like this. And your hips should be pointing up, your tailbone is pointing up and keep sliding, keep sliding, keep sliding. So initially you may just go this much. Stay there, no problem. Week after week, you will keep pushing yourself down until you don't touch your chest and your chin and your armpits touching on the ground. This is a very good stretch for those who are looking for the upper back and thoracic spine. Nice stretch. Stay there. Five. This needs a lot of practice. Once you start doing it, you will feel better and you will increase a lot of strength. Three, four, and five. From here, I'll be threading a needle. That is, I will place my left palm. I'll just come back on my knee and I'll try to lift my body and I'll slide my left hand between my right arm and my right leg or right body. And I'll keep stretching or I'll just fold my arm and try to look up to the ceiling. Also what I'm doing is, I'm opening my right shoulder and look up to the ceiling. And I rest my left ears, my left side of my head on the floor. My palm touching on the ground and feel the stretch. It's a very good opening of your thoracic spine, your mid back. Also you'll have a very good stretch on your spinal muscles if they are very stiff. And if you cannot do this much, you can also do half this much. Okay, you can stay here for five breaths. One, exhale. Two, three, four. And in fifth count, very slowly with the support of your right hand, you will come back. Come back to the starting position. Now from here, we will move our both the side is important. Now we slide and shift our right arm underneath our left armpit and we keep moving. If you can stretch your left hand up on top, if uh, yes, very good. If not, you can keep resting your palm down. And those who are slightly flexible, they can also wrap their arm and hold their opposite inner thigh and feel the stretch. As you can see, my entire right side of my head, my right ears and my right shoulder, entire arm is resting on the ground. Five, breathe, four, three, two, and one, relax. You will first rest your top arm and then with the support of your palm, you will come back to the center and take a child's pose or balasana and rest your shoulders on the ground. Very good stretch. Feel the stretch on your spine and relax. So after this, we have one more stretch for the people who have knee pain. If you have osteoporosis if, or if you have knee pain, then you may not do it on the knee, right? So what we'll do it, we'll do it same thing with the standing, with the wall. Now my dear friends, why I'm taking child's pose in every uh, back stretching? Because after back bends, your shoulders or your spine may get a little overstretched. So for that, you need to relax in a counter posture. 
so for back bend the counter posture is forward bend that's why make sure if you are a beginners i don't want you all to get injured so after every back bend stretching you do forward bend just to retract your muscles and to give a good relaxation to your muscles so let's move to the next stretch where you will stand up on your place and i'll be showing you two variations like those who have knee pain so first you need to take one arm distance okay so the distance you need to measure as you grow as you increase your uh, stamina as you increase your flexibility and the strength for example if you are a beginner you may not go far than this but the week after week months after months you will see that you are able to reach to the wall so you need to take the distance and don't move your feet from there and keep slight distance between your feet not together so inhale placing your palms on top of your head like this diagonal and keep keep moving your palm fingers up sliding up and keep pushing your chest forward it will give a little kind of uh, exhaustion but at the same time it is very good for the shoulder try it out and let me know in the comment section yes so breathe in initially if you need someone support uh, maybe someone is holding your back and pushing you from your mid spine and exhale push 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 and your chin touching to the uh, wall you can stay here for 5 very good for the neck stretching very good for the thyroid glands those who have thyroids 4 and 5 so after this you will have to just relax by bending forward as i said every back bend needs to be relaxed so that you don't get hurt or you don't get injured now for those who have knee pain i have also one solution is you can either place a blanket or you can roll a mat and make a little uh, cushion type and place your knees on the mat same thing you have to do uh, not too much distance not too uh, uh, not too close up again check the dis, um, measurement one arm distance place your both the hands upward and keep pushing your chest forward so your knee doesn't move from the position what you're doing is just opening your heart and you can stay here for 5 4 3 2 1 1 very slowly you will relax in child's pose and also you will nod your head to massage your neck because your neck was also involved so you need to completely drop your shoulders maybe shake your shoulders give a good retraction and you can rest here for a few breaths so the next one is asana ushtrasan or camel pose for there we have variations people hold their back in does ushtrasan half camel pose they also hold their heels or someone also does like full ushtrasan so we'll be learning three of them and also make sure those who have cervical spondylitis or if you have vertigo problem if you have high blood pressure then you will do it in a very cautious manner you will not uh, too much you will not strain yourself yes so let's begin first uh, ushtrasan is i'll just first demonstrate and then i'll tell you what you can do for this how you can prepare yourself first people hold their back and they push their hips forward pelvic forward and they try their rest and then they rest their neck between their shoulders so this is the first variation second variation is they slide their palms uh, on their heels and they push their hips forward so this is a second variation always you see you check that your hip and your knee should be in line yes and the third variation is more advanced like youngsters can do this they can try this breathe in and resting your forehead and pushing your chest out and holding your knees so these are the variations of 
uh, then see immediately I bend forward so that I don't get injured or I don't get too tightness in my spine. So how do you prepare? So let's start. If you have a wall next to you, again you have to take the measurement like this. You have to keep slight distance, like at least four fingers distance between your knees. Your toes are pointing towards the wall like this. Okay, so first variation is you need to push your hip forward, holding your um, hip and your waist. Push, keep pushing with your palms. Your uh, shoulders are pointing at the back, opening your chest, opening your shoulders. Keep moving, keep moving and exhale. Keep doing it for at least one to two weeks. Just do this until you don't reach till C. You have to form a letter C. Breathe in. You have to keep uh, looking at yourself that how am I doing? Or maybe you tell someone to check your posture. Okay. After this, the second variation is what you can do is you have to place your palms like this reverse, not this way. But reverse, can you see my fingers are pointing at the down uh, side and your shoulders, your armpits are pointing up. This is a little tricky one and you keep pushing, keep pushing your head behind and once you attain this, you keep walking, walk, 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 walk and until you don't reach to your, to the, to your feet. So this is a very good stretch, but make sure you do it slowly while coming back also, same manner. And after this, mandatory to bend forward. And you can just relax your spine. Maybe you can just move your hips side to side. This is Ustrasan. And um, it is a kind of a very advanced one but it is amazing you will have it is always said you bend so you don't break right so this is how you practice ushtrasan step by step and with knowledge also cautious be aware of your um, uh, any disease if you have like as i said if you have any vertical problem any kind of cervical problem then please avoid or do it cautiously maybe you can stick to first step now let's begin with marichasan so for that we will extend our both the legs in front in dandasan so just relax your legs and just release the tension from your legs keeping your spine upright now before we start with marichasan we need to warm up our spine so how do we twist keep slight distance between your legs and then breathe in breathe out we turn completely on the right side placing your palms maybe either your palms or your fingertips and keep pushing your head towards the ground now those who are completely beginner they may get stuck over here it's fine so week after week you keep pushing you keep pulsing there and then come back to the center inhale exhale turn to the other side check my legs are not completely coming up like this your heels should be as it is and your hip of the opposite leg will come up slowly and push your head if you can reach to your ground this will be the last position then come back to the center so this way you can do it for five to ten times daily side to side so with this you will be ready for marichasan because this is a lot of twisting is added here now let's begin both the legs together stretch your legs out first relax your muscles and just give a good relaxation keep your legs straight and your spine like a stick okay now folding your right knee so place your right foot just in line of your left knee not too closer and not too far so keep it in the center of your leg now your right leg is bending so you will take your opposite hand breathe and raise your left hand up and you will place your right palm behind you twist your arm so it goes over your right knee grabbing your ankle or your foot or your knee if you can you'll have a very good twist in your spine and you 
turn your head behind looking at your palm or uh, you are looking behind towards the wall so this will give a good stretch to your uh, spinal area also your belly so there's a nice contraction in your uh, belly area so it massages your organs breathe in and breathe out you exhale when you twist so you exhale maximum three four and five first you will relax your head then you will release your left arm then you bring your right hand so in marichasan there is a lot of variations have given with by different schools of practice so i'll be also showing you one more practice which uh, you can do it very easily so you have to take your same hand here so your right leg is folded so you take your right arm and you bend forward in this you have to slide your sh uh, foot slightly behind so that you can wrap your arm nicely and you will also hold your left wrist from back if this is not possible you can hold the towel and then breathe in and slowly while exhaling you can reach your chin and you can touch your head to your left knee or extended leg which is there on front and stay here this is also very good stretch it increases the nice stability strength and increasing it helps in increasing your uh, flexibility of your spine and then inhale you will come back look in front you release your both the palms and you can slide your heels forward so this is two variation of marichasan then you have to repeat with this other side so first you need to take um, a foot so again i'll be showing you on the other side so that you can see my uh, orientation of the leg so now the left foot which is fixed in the center of your uh, right leg take a deep breath in now the left knee is folded so first you will take the opposite hand goes up exhale twist your spine and your left palm is just behind your hip you can grab your ankle or grab your complete leg and then turn your head look at the back have a good stretch in your upper and your mid back breathe inhale exhale also check your other foot is flex or you can point your toes make sure it is not relax 3 4 inhale exhale and one more breath inhale exhale so first you turn your head to the center we relax our right arm and relax your left hand you can give a retraction to the spine before we move to the another stretch so for the another stretch you have to move a shift your foot closer to your perineum breathe and now same hand goes up exhale you have to bend forward as if you're catching your uh, right foot and you wrap your arm from your shin bone trying to hold your wrist of your left palm breathe in and we extend our spine forward trying to stretch your spine and have a good stretch in your extended leg breathe and feel the stretch in your belly and the center of your belly feel 5 4 3 2 and 1 lift your head and come back very slowly we relax our both the arms you can retract give a good retraction to the spine and you can also choose a uh, child's pose if you wish to if you are done with your stretching just relax in child's pose for at least 5 minutes so that you can relax your mind you can release the stress from your body you can rest your spine completely also it is very good to uh, give a good circulation to your hip region and relax your So friends here we finished the first part of uh, the flexibility of the spine postures uh, stay tuned for the second part of the same video stay blessed namaste